let's take a recap of what's been going on in Microsoft Ignite 2024. Now, if you're not familiar with Microsoft Ignite, uh, it's the big convention that goes on every year that Microsoft puts on where everybody kind of comes together and Microsoft unveils their latest and greatest technologies and what the news is and all of that fun stuff. And uh, I don't think it's going to be a big shocker for me to tell you that AI is sort of the, the big darling of this convention, if you will. And, of course, security kind of being the second runner-up. And, uh, of course, you can imagine that AI in of itself is going to both create security risk but also help stop security risk. So that's going to be a big part of this. But I tell you what, we're going to jump right in and let's take a look at some of the things that have been announced. And, we'll, and I'll go through and discuss a little bit with you. Hello and uh, welcome to Ignite. You know, we continue to invest in security. You can see the updates we are making, tons and tons of announcements that you'll hear about across the security stack. Um, the one thing, though, I want to point out is Purview. It's probably the product um, for this conference because in the age of AI, data governance takes on an even more critical, central, important role. Uh, and in Purview, uh, we're introducing updates to prevent everything from oversharing, risky use of AI, uh, such as uh, malicious intent detection, prompt injections, misuse of protected material. So there's a lot uh, in Purview. So right out of the gates, you can tell that Microsoft Purview is a big deal. They're going to be making a lot of modifications to it. They're going to be introducing AI. If you're not familiar with Microsoft Purview, that is Microsoft's big data governance uh, based system that's going to help you with handling uh, large amounts of information, large amounts of data in your environment and being able to find what's there, protect what's there, provide things like data loss prevention capabilities and all that. And of course, Microsoft does have a certification on that, which is the SC400. That is a course that I teach. If you are interested, you can check out uh, examlabpractice.com slash courses. And today, I'm really excited to announce our Zero Day Quest. Uh, this is the first big announcement that I'm excited about because it's a new hacking event. Uh, there will be $4 million in rewards focused on securing cloud and AI. It's the highest rewards of any public hacking event in the industry. And the quest starts today and will culminate in an in-person hacking event next year. So we're very, very excited about it. You know, Copilot is the UI for AI. It's rapidly becoming an organizing layer for work and how work gets done. Every employee will have a co-pilot that knows them, their work, helping them unlock productivity, enhancing creativity, and saving time. And Copilot Studio will allow you to create agents that automate business processes. And every IT department will have a control system to manage, secure, and measure impact. That's it. Those are the three basic concepts of the Copilot ecosystem. Today, I'm really excited to announce Copilot Actions. With, with these actions, you can use Copilot to reduce the amount of time you spend on repetitive, everyday tasks, uh, that you do. In fact, the best way to conceptualize actions is for those of you who used Outlook rules, this is Outlook rules for the age of AI. Uh, and it works across the entire M365 system, not just in Outlook, right? So it automates everything from asking for, a, let's say, a status update from your team, compiling weekly reports, to scheduling emails, requesting feedback on a document. Um, actions are a very simple but yet powerful way for you to scale what you do, right? So whatever was the thing that you had to do multi-step, you just create one of these actions and it just does it for you. Couple quick things to unpack here. One of the big announcements is the zero day quest that they're starting and they're essentially gonna be giving lots and lots of reward money out to people that can discover zero day threats with their latest and greatest services. This is great. If you're not familiar with zero day, a zero day threat is any type of threat that uh, has been discovered by hackers or created by hackers, but has not been patched yet. So Microsoft is doing everything they can to try to reward people for finding those or reporting those. 
Now the thing that he went over is Copilot Actions, and this is going to really save us a lot of time uh, as administrators or just as end users in having to do some of the repetitive tasks. I mean, imagine you got a situation where, uh, from an IT perspective, you've got to go and pull a report that tells you how much uh, hard drive space is left on all of your virtual hard drives across all of your VMs, and you've got to have that imported into a spreadsheet, and then that spreadsheet's can, then got to be emailed out to your boss. Now, that stuff was doable prior to this, but it was a lot harder, and it involved scripting and macros and all that, and of course, you can kind of see where uh, with this new technology, it's going to make our life easier. And we're not stopping there. And today we're introducing new agents you can use within the context of your team. Again, the best way to think about these are, are as just your teammates. Uh, they're scoped to specific roles with very specific permissions, just like, you know, we have permissions and roles. Uh, for example, a facilitator agent is someone you can add to your team's meeting and the facilitator will help keep the meeting focused, moderate the meeting, chats, as well as the follow-up and action items. And we're also announcing SharePoint agents. Every SharePoint site will now have a built-in agent. These agents provide instant access to real-time information and insights from your knowledge base in the flow of your work. Uh, we're also giving you the ability to easily create your own copilot uh, or your own agents using Copilot Studio. You know, sometimes we sort of mystify these agents as things that, you know, somehow require a lot of effort to build, but it's really pretty straightforward. In fact, the, our vision is that it should be as simple as creating a Word doc or a PowerPoint slide or an Excel spreadsheet. That's it. Like when you say agent, think creating a doc. Today we are announcing in fact, Windows app is coming to Android. We're excited about that. We're announcing mobile application management. I know this is something that IT has wanted for a long time, and it's both to iOS and Android. Um, this means any employee can work on Windows 365, even on their personal devices, like this iPad, because your corporate apps and files stay secure, all managed on the cloud PC. I'm really thrilled to announce Windows 365 Link. You can see it right here. It's a simple, secure, purpose-built device for Windows 365. It's admin-less, password-less, and security configurations are enabled by default and cannot be turned off. Uh, Windows 365 Link expands the PC category or the cloud PC category by connecting you directly to your productivity in the cloud with no data or information left on any device. So yeah, it's great to finally see that Microsoft is coming out with a thin client. This has been one of those things that uh, I've kind of wondered about for a very long time. They've they've got you know Azure Virtual Desktop, but they've also got Windows 365, which is essentially having a virtual machine out in the cloud. So why wouldn't you just go ahead and produce a thin client? And it looks like they finally have gotten around doing that with Windows 365 Link. One last thing I will add to that after doing a little bit more investigating, it looks like that's not going to be released until probably April of 2025. So it'll be a little while before we'll be able to get our hands on one of these. Uh, in addition, we are excited to announce this new Windows Resiliency Initiative. Super important, it's, we are doubling down on our commitment uh, to make Windows secure and reliable for customers for all their mission critical uh, workloads. Uh, as part of this work, we are making changes to low level operating system access. Um, we're introducing new features in partnership with the entire ecosystem establishing new guidelines for safe deployment practices. Uh, one example of this, which is, I think, you know, something that is really exciting, is Windows Hot Patch, uh, which works across your entire Windows estate to apply critical security updates without requiring a restart. Okay, I just want to say, holy smokes, how long have we waited for this capability in Windows? My gosh, uh, I've been in the industry for over 25 years, and this is something we have uh, wanted forever, it feels like. So it is really exciting to hear that hot patching is now going to be available, finally. And today, we're going further and announcing Azure Local. 
This is, again, something that many of you have asked us to do, which is bring you know, Azure Arc all the way to all of the edge uh, with Azure Local, extends Azure services across hybrid, multi-cloud, and edge locations with one central control plane. It brings Azure services uh, to customers' distributed locations, whether they're in retail or hospitality, obviously manufacturing, so that they can run their mission-critical workloads, some of these new AI workloads uh, across cloud and edge. And I'm excited to announce our first in-house security chip, Azure Integrated HSM. This is it. This it is a dedicated hardware security module that hardens key management, managing encryption and key signing that can remain within the bounds of the device without compromising performance or security. And starting next year, it'll be part of every new server deployed on Azure, enhancing security for both confidential computing as well as general purpose virtual machines and containers. So we are very, very excited about on uh, this new silicon innovation. Today, we are very excited about expanding Azure Boost with our first in-house DPU. Um, and this is a DPUs are processors specifically architected to accelerate data-centric workloads absorbing multiple components of a traditional server into a single piece of silicon. It runs, in fact, cloud storage workloads at three times less power and four times the performance. I mean, what this will do for storage is what Smart NICs did for uh, host and the network. Uh, these are gonna do for storage. And today, we are announcing the preview of NVIDIA Blackwell AI infrastructure on Azure. Now, you know, Blackwell is pretty amazing. It's got the 72 GPUs on a single NVLink domain, and then you combine it with infinite band on the back end. These racks are optimized for the most cutting edge uh, training workloads and, you know, and inference workloads. So we are very excited about having Blackwell. So you can see the last few things mentioned there is definitely hardware oriented. Microsoft is going to be doing a lot to improve their performance when it comes to hardware in regards to the various chips they're going to be integrating, and I think this is going to make a, a big difference. One thing that was not mentioned here is that they are uh, investing more into quantum computing, and they've made some breakthroughs there as well. The final thing I want to talk about here is the new MetaQuest support they're providing. They've, they uh, are adding the ability to use a VR headset with Windows 365, in which essentially you'll be able to remote into your virtual desktop. You'll be able to use, as you can see here, multiple screens in order to interact with this uh, virtual desktop and uh, use Windows 365 remotely. This will allow you to have gigantic, massive screens in a augmented reality space. Uh, so this this should be an interesting uh, concept. I do have a MetaQuest uh, 3 headset, so it's definitely something I am going to check out. All right. All right, well, I hope you have uh, enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative to you. I know not everybody has a chance to sit down and watch all of the announcements in Ignite, but these were some of your top announcements and hopefully a nice little summary for you. And as always, I hope you'll give me a like and a subscribe. Check out uh, examlabpractice.com slash courses for a coupon code to my courses. Get certified on some of the latest and greatest technologies that are out there.